Y'all, I'm not too sure we're in Vietnam anymore. We've come to an onsen, a Japanese onsen, to experience what I know is the only, so if it's the only that makes it the best, Japanese onsen in Vietnam. I'm not here alone, I'm with Chris. Because I've lost Chris, there's Chris. Ooh. Cafeteria, I guess we can order food anytime. But yes, we're in an onsen. I'm gonna bring y'all with me to show you the best Japanese onsen in all of Vietnam. There's Chris. I think we're going to our room right now. Oh, so big. Family, cause cool, family. So, Chris. I wanted to ball out. We have the family room. Look at this sofa. I'm not gonna lie. Like this little sofa right here, this little love couch, this little big comp. Big comp. I'm gonna call this thing big comp. This is nicer than most hotel rooms I booked. Just this, just this sofa right here. Oh, hello. How are you? What's this? Tea. Oh, tea? Chà gì ạ? 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 Chà gì after he got his English in. What is this? Are these all rice puffs? This is gaolit. You probably know what gaolit is because okay. you're the food expert. Oh, yeah, it's nice. You know gaolit, nice. the sticky rice? Mm -hmm. Yeah, gaolit. Take a look in here. Oh, no, I always forget to show you guys. Oh. Max, see, Max here drinking it first without showing the audience. Come on, Max. Oh, I was protecting them. I wanted to make sure it was okay first. Now you can look at it. What a nice man. So, this is the tea. Get some sort of it's gonna be like that. I'm gonna move over here. He must be feisty because we spent so much money on this room. Look at this. It's like instantaneous comfort. I feel really awkward without my mask close to me. Hold on. Did that burn your tongue? Like second degree. Second degree? Yeah. Ah, you okay, not third degree. Yeah, we're good. Probably it's an onsen. Where were we? Oh, I keep getting a little rice puffs. I'm gonna try to sip my tea because it's hot. I swallow the rice puffs. <clears throat> and they go down wrong. Like tea with Rice Krispies in it. You know, I once watched a Japanese show and it talked about all these lanterns. But I forgot everything about it. So I can't tell you any interesting facts, but I do know it does help the authenticity of this onsen. I'm not blown away yet, honestly. I do like the cafeteria with the hanging drapes, the lanterns, the style of wood. Mainly the best parts, <laughs> big comp. Very beautiful, beautiful area over here where everybody stays. I don't know how many rooms they have over here. Looks like around 20 rooms. 
Chris and I actually, since this is like a one and a, uh, maybe not lifetime, but it's a very rare opportunity, went ahead and booked the family room. Go ahead and show you what the best of the best is like here. Traditional Japanese slippers. Max, what are these called in Japanese? Kombiet. Kombiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this place is amazing. Have to put these on. Two huge double beds. Still close together. Good. Cái cái giày này gọi là thầm tiếng nhà đấy. Anh biết không? Mình không cái này dép thành riêng mình nhặt thôi. À mà. Còn mình sẽ giới thiệu qua cho bên mình qua để cái phòng cái thiết bị trong phòng. My foot's a little bit nice. Look at this place. I've never been to Japan. I've never been to Onsen. But if you're going to do it right, you got to do it right your first time. I don't know how to get outside. You gotta put your elbow into it. So we don't only just have one bath, we have two, two baths, one for each of us. Very calming, dark rocks. And then over here, we got a little yin and yang. Whoa! Oh, it's so hot. Nam hoa! So hot. I think it's about 40 degrees. Maybe Chris will give us details later. So look, we actually got the bath here. By the non I I don't think that's a Japanese brand, that's so funny. Uh, beautiful towels. Not as soft as I thought it would be. Can you believe Chris? He doesn't even close doors. Oh, sauna? This is ridiculous. One person does not need all this. Which is why it's the family room. You guys saw it already. What a great uh, introduction to this place. Max, I, 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 I'll admit, I was a little bit uh, skeptical when I first walked in. How do you feel now, though? Really? I had no doubt that no they doubt. would deliver. And then some. Two people do not need this, but it is the family room. Two people don't need it? Is this on? Two YouTubers do. Really 
gonna crack that open. Ooh, mochi. Chris, do you want snacks? I'm down for snacks, but dude, I want to change first and just so finish hot. Japanese clothes. Oh, we about to. Yukata, you know yukata. 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 Uh, so kimono ga aranai. Kimono janai. Ah, uh, kimono ga aranai. Ah, uh, wakaru wakaru wakaru. Yukata desu. Hmm, mm, yukata ga aru. Hmm, yukata. Yukata. Hmm. Ah. Yukata. You? Ah, comes from Japanese. Hu. Hmm. Which means shower. Anyways, Hui. I'm gonna change. And get some food. Welcome back to the onsen. We have the yukata. Oh, you know, I'm glad it's not the tatami. I, I think it'd been cool cultural experience with me. I'm kind of like a. I don't like a soft bed. Kind of like a schmedium. You know, not too hard, but on the harder side. And I do just like the Japanese characters here. The woodwork here is beautiful. The soft lantern lights coming in. But we have more room. We have to hurry. This afternoon tea is on the way. Wow. I'll admit, my favorite part, this right here. I've always wanted to wear these. Does that look uncomfortable? Because it's surprisingly extremely comfortable. Looks very interesting from down here too. Seems like a movie. This is like the uh, one of the scenes of a Japanese movie where they're I don't know. Yakuza are drinking tea. So this is where we got our yukata. They got the little information guide here. Got, what have we got? We got Vietnamese, English, Japanese. Oh, hello. No mini bar. Nothing in there. Okay. That was, uh, a little disappointing. I expected a little bit more. Hope. Oh. Do you see anything? Uh, nope. Needs to nowhere. Just <laughs> dust. Bathroom. Again, I must say, like, I was really expecting, like, high-end, fancy, Japanese toilet. That was actually like one of the top five things I was most excited about. And I just don't know even know, is that even a Japanese brand? I mean, that's a little basic. Maybe a thumbnail, I don't know, let's hope. Wow, more toothbrushes, pleasantries, shower cap, shaving kit. I may need that shaving kit. Comb, just your typical stuff. Body lotion. Dude, you already ate the mochi. Yeah, you gotta... didn't even invite me. Go for it. I, you were filming, man. You're, You're right. Doing, doing your tour. I was. Max is gonna finally the food reviewer is gonna come. I just told him it was gelatin with uh, filling. 
Is it red bean? It's red bean. It's okay. It's pretty good. What do you think? Look at that. Do you know what the Tasting? outside is? It's a mochi, dude. It's just rice. Man. No, no, no. The, uh, the, the white stuff. Of the dusting? Yeah. It's not sugar. Not sugar. It's not sweet. I always thought it was flour. Is it flour? Yeah, it's like a flour. It's like a rice flour. Oh, it is rice flour. Because it doesn't stick. Okay, so I was right. Yeah, it's like you're making bread. You put bread on the table so it won't stick. Same. I don't know. I'm not a mochi sense. expert. It's I've actually never been to Japan. This is my first time, like, Japan experience. <laughs> first Japanese experience. <laughs> I've been to, I went to Japan after... Well, actually, when I was studying abroad in China. So 2017, I think. Ooh. Oh, that must be... That Hello? Must be our, uh, that must be our... They're early. They're early. Is it too dirty yet? Oh, this is good though. Sweet red bean. That's probably not what she expected when she opened the door. Yeah. Hello, how are you? Can I like Oh, popular. She's popular. Very popular. She's so popular. So many texts. Come on, you. Your phone was going off like crazy. It's still going off. God, I wish I got that many texts. Oh, here comes our tea. Oh, we have tea coming too. Yeah, it's tea time. Uh, it's tea. I thought tea time was just... No, you need tea for tea time. You need, I guess that makes sense. But we have a teapot here. This is true. <laughs> we, got the, we got enough tea for our family. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> tea. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, come in here. Yeah. So even though it's a Kazuko room, because there's only two people, I think it's only two teas. I thought we were going to get four teas, but okay. <laughs> oh, we do get the pot, though. I wonder if these are like the ones that like all the Hokkaido stores you see at the malls. Only oh. Hotel. Oh. Wouldn't that be funny if they just ordered it from a Hokkaido cheese tart store and they brought it here? It definitely different. It's a shortbread cookie crust, very buttery, and ooey gooey, melty, cheesy, sweet on the inside. They're good. And Max is tempting me. I wonder how it tastes on Max tried it inside. Mm. You know what they say? Well, Max is taking it outside. You know what they say? Environment is half. Thank you, opener of doors. Max. You're welcome. Giver of rice, opener of doors, first of his name, Max McFarland. I practically work just in my customer service then. Customer service expert. You know what they say though? He's going outside, so we'll go back in here. Oh, look how low to the floor this is. So we got Japanese cheesecake. The sakura cookie. The cheese tart I've eaten. The mochi with the red bean. And then some fruit. Look at that. Look at that design. Kind of looks like the shrine with the red and black. Am I filming? Okay, yeah, I'm filming. I want to try the cheese cake. So fluffy, light. It's got like almost like a sour cream smell to it. Tea time was a success, but I want to finish this room tour. I 
I must admit, I eat, I eat a lot of rice, I drink a lot of tea. I don't have enough rice tea in my life though. All right, onward to here. I really do enjoy the paintings, the geishas and their kimonos. Just the ambiance, the ambiance of the building with the trees of Japan. I don't know. I'm trying to make a video. <coughs> my plenty drinking doesn't agree with that. How rude. How so rude of Chris. I make a video and he doesn't. He gets jealous. It's beautiful Japanese writing. I don't read very well, especially handwritten. But you would read this way. From right to left, down to up. Beautiful tree. I don't know what tree it is. I'm not a plantologist. Um, like another. I think that's Sakura. I don't think that is. Uh, maybe plum. Could be a plum tree. Ume. Huh. Huh. I don't know what this is for. I really don't get this right here, actually. It just makes it like. It doesn't keep you out, really. I feel like my video just got demonetized by doing that. Sorry if you saw something. Again, Geisha, the art. I forgot what this is. But it's just cool, I appreciate it. I like these old school Geishas. I like the, the old school paintings. I like all the neutral colors. There's nothing just vibrant It comes at you. It's very relaxing. It's an onsen. It should have those relaxing vibes. And it does that for me. But I've been told an onsen is nothing without an onsen. So we gotta get in the water. Oh, there are outlets up there? Dude, this is the only thing that makes me realize why are you backing away from me? You're standing on the bed walking towards me. I don't know. <laughs> you know, fucking, you caught that. I don't know. I felt awkward. I stepped backwards. <laughs> the only thing, let me take your camera. The only thing that makes me realize that this is, n I guess, not the only thing. One major thing that makes me realize this is not a Vietnamese design is the placement of the outlet. What a smart place to put an outlet. You can put all your stuff on here. It's not gonna fall off. There you go, Max. I just wanted to show you guys that. Don't get mad at me, but it's true. Vietnamese outlets are never placed in a good position. <laughs> Why are you gonna love it? I'm gonna make it, dude, oh my God. I think I'm making it all dirty. I know, cause your feet are on the bed. How rude. So rude. Onwards. Do you think this key is waterproof? The key looks waterproof, yeah, right? Waterproof. Okay. Uh, you test it first. Okay. I'll pay the no he deposit. It doesn't. Oh, when you're outside and you hear this. That's my favorite sound. It's my favorite sound of experience. I need help though. Which one do I go? Do you go this one? Or do you go that one? I'm a little confused because that one had water before. Now this one has water. This one has a bucket. So I'll go in here. I think it's 40 degrees. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know how to get in here. Ooh. Oh. oh, it's so hot. It's too hot. Too hot. Ah. Oh. oh. Oh my gosh. No. Here. Why is this doing 
This Japanese technology is too smart for me. What do you think? I'm like 34, I like that. Ah. I have these baby feet. Okay, it's draining over here, so we go over here now. <gasps> it's so hot! I just don't think I can get in, it's so hot. It's so weird, it's like a tickle. You don't know if it feels good or terrible. Oh, oh there's nothing like a 34 degree water a bath on a 33 degree day. Oh. I feel like every part of my body that is immersed itself in the water has just lost all control of muscular uh, control. Oh, yeah, right, son? <laughs> So good. Oh, my. Ah. Oh, joy. What they don't tell you about the water. <gasps> oh, that's hot. It's so, it's so salty. Look at the cute garden though. Whites, blues, bonsai. Bonsai, is that a bonsai tree? I feel like it is. The water is so salty. It's running in my mouth. It tastes like, like um, Not chlorine, there's no chlorine here, just salt. I guess it's good for the skin. Help you float, not sink too much. I wanna go to the other one. I don't know if that's what it's used for or not. I feel like it is. Rawr. Oh yeah, that's what I want, right there. Now, I don't know if this is what you do. But mine's going in the water. <laughs> Fold it. This is how you do it. This is what I see everybody doing the pictures. So I feel like it's gonna be something like this. Everybody, y'all, there's rules. But it's over here, it's in the corner, I didn't see. Please shower and wash hair before entering on sin. Oh for one. It helps promote blood circulation over the pores to increase the effectiveness of sweating. 
There should be 40, 10 to 20 sessions. I don't understand, minutes. Slowly, enjoy. There's minerals in here. It's not just salt. There's an array of minerals. I'm learning so much. And drink lots of water. I only broke four or five rules. Is this a thumbnail? Oh, uh, it's thumbnail material right here. Oh. Did any of those look good? Okay, so, I mean, I want to be real with y'all. Like, I don't ever want to, I don't know, fake or anything. Like, Never want to be disrespectful, but coming to the onsen, it's my first time. Never been to Japan. You know, I can speak a little bit of the language, but I don't know the culture. I clearly didn't know onsen rules. I'm sure I've broken like 13 rules, been disrespectful to culture or something. So if I did anything, like, yo, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be. It's just kind of like first impression vibes. That's all this is, man. This is us doing this together for the first time together. I could have probably worded that better, but hey, I didn't notice this earlier. Doesn't really move, but not bad. I need a shower apparently. Not immediately after, a little rest. You feel kind of spacey after being there. Maybe because it's like 32 and the water was 40. So rest a little bit, shower up and uh, yeah. Like this, like this is so rude. This is the worst thing you can do. Sorry. See, even Chris knows what I'm talking about. When you come in to a home like this, what you've got to do is you've got to take your shoes and they need to be facing out. That is the polite thing and the appropriate thing to do. Because now I can do this, I can go down, and you put them on and you can go. If you don't do that, if you go to a Japanese home and you don't do that, very disrespectful. But it's time for dinner. They brought us the menu after Chris called a few times. <laughs> definitely not a, what? Not, definitely not an eight and a half uh, a million. But how, how quality is the paper is the question. Is it A4 size? It's definitely hard stock A4 paper. The ink is not bad. I mean, for 8.4 million, maybe they could do a little better, but I'm satisfied. Yes, I'm being stingy. I'm gonna be stingy. Let's <laughs> look what they got. Glicum, tomte. So, spring rolls, pork, shrimp, mixed green salad with salmon and uh, wafu dressing. Koromiyaki, just a Japanese seafood pancake, miso, wakame, yu steak, ito, grilled teriyaki, glazed salmon steak, unagi, which is just eel, niku, yaki udon, crab noodle, some drink, rice. Dang, one little thing of like Japonica rice, which is like the rice they eat a lot of you know, Korea and J Japanese area, of course. <laughs> 50,000 for a bowl. Desserts, they got fruit. Special dessert of the day. And ice cream. I may, I may order some ice cream later. It's actually like reasonably priced. I don't know. These prices are wild. Ugh. And dinner's here, the most expensive thing on the menu. 
the goals in. So a daily changing menu. What we got today? Looking good. We got the rice here. I hope it's a japonica rice. Nice little short granule sticky. We got the pickled ginger, soy sauce, lime. And then the sashimi here, we got the salmon, tuna. I actually don't know what this is, some type of something. Not even sure. Uh, egg, little uh, fish cake, bonito flake, and kelp or seaweed. Whew, look at that seam though, little miso soup. And right here, salad with some dressing, with some sauce. And then this looks like the eel, the unagi, with the nice little unagi sauce. And then two fruits that I don't like. But I will eat them because the price is high. And I'm still drinking my tea from tea time. You better eat that fruit, Max. You paid for that. Are you still filming? I am filming. There you are. Silverware is here and more silverware here. We got silverware everywhere. Start with the heart and soul. Japanese cuisine. Let me sauce soup. Mmm. Oh my. It's good. Itadakimasu. Let's go. But where? Take some wasabi. Now, I don't want to kill the flavor of the fish with too much soy sauce and wasabi, so try it with just a touchy touch. salmon. Let's go for the tuna. This time I'll go for a bigger dunk. Get some flavor this time. Oh, point that down more. Yep, it's tuna. They have a special of the day, so if you ever want me to order off your menu, just have a special of the day where you don't say what it is. And I'm so intrigued. We got that coming to us. I told Chris not to tell me, so I'm trying not to listen because I want to be surprised by the dessert. I think we're going to finish strong and delicious and sweet with today. We'll see. Y'all, I am speechless. It ain't for a good reason. Check out this dessert. So we got fruit and mochi. We got four mochi for lunch. Now we got two mochi. Chris, how many did you order? I ordered two portions of the special dessert of the day. <laughs> there better be gold in this mochi. There better be gold in here. This mochi better be good. It's cold. It's, you probably, do it? it's probably yesterday's it's mochi. Probably, it's probably ice cream. You want to uh, do a mochi? Uh, mochi. Mo cheers. Mo yo. Mo zo. Yo. This better be ice cream. It's definitely not ice cream. <laughs> this is the Walls ice cream from the other day. What the heck? <laughs> what is that? That looks so weird, dude. Max. <laughs> looks like tuna salad. It's like a strawberry, very floral strawberry. That was two hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> this, this is two hundred k, guys. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Dinner was actually okay. This is this is a little sad. 
You wonder why it I'm took done. so long too, Max. Why did this take so long? This took a while, didn't it? It took at least like 15 minutes. Because they didn't have any dessert and they had to figure out what to do. Oh, that's probably what it was. Yeah. They ran the Circle K real quick and bought some mochi. <laughs> they literally drove to freaking half long. Man. <laughs> and they bought it. They bought it. I'd be really curious to go to Circle K and see if they sell that. <laughs> We, if we're, are we going to go on an ice cream hunt today? Well, yeah, dude. I'm not done. <laughs> Let's go to the stop at Circle K and see if we can find it. <laughs> My gosh. What are you doing? What are you doing here, Max? What flavor, what flavor are you going for? This. I just drove all the way back to Halong for ice cream. I hope y'all are proud of me and not disappointed. Where did you get that? Which one was that? I got the last one. That was the last one? Yeah. Oh man, that really was the last one. Yeah, it really was the last one. I'm not kidding, dude. What is this? Look at that time. Such an ice cream noob. Very Japanese of you. Very Japanese of me, huh? We just had fish for dinner. Good. 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 I got Momilan. I got 45,000. You have two, two K? Oh, can you hold this? Thank you. How much? Two? Two. Uh, passport? <laughs> yes. Hold on, sorry. Two? I got one. Three. No, five, five, five. 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Hey, everybody. I, came, I, 30K, I know. I feel like I just like now, a... now Circle K just scammed me. Oh my gosh. Uh, come on. Like I really talked about the dessert place. I was like, wow, a hundred for that little dessert. And I came here, I just got this for forty-five. <laughs> Damn, Max getting, I just dropped my other thing. Max getting scammed left and right. Oh, let me put away my money. Let's see if the money is worth it. It does look good. Oreo, ice cream, chocolate topping, and almonds. This is much better. 